Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. We've got open-air baseball for you on the show. It's the New York Yankees taking on the Baltimore Orioles. First pitch coming at you right after the break. Just about set to go. And on the mound now, number 46. Well, that 12 to 6 curveball explodes out of the hand. And because he's able to throw the high fastball at the top of the strike zone for a strike, hitters commit to that pitch. And before they know the it, they're swinging the over the top of that curveball. Okay, baseman. all set to go. Now it's the second baseman, number 30. That's in there. And away we go this afternoon. First pitch, 1 o'clock. You'll want. There's a strike. The pitch. Check swing. No appeal. And that's ball one. And he deals. Stays alive. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. offering popped in the air right field Jackson brings it in and there's one down that as we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup and the key to victory for them here get their starters some run support early Boog, if they can get him that run support early it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in so put pressure on that other team right away jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. <laughs> Carlos May watches that one for a strike standing in here with one down. Next offering is down low. Nice warm day here. Good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. Uh, you can kind of be more selective instead of just looking out away so that you can get the barrel to it. And that part, you can get on the inside part of the plate as well. Why to kick the pitch? Swing and a miss. Struck him out and two away now. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high that 90s, hurt. you get away with the some of those. Hit. More margin for Ooh. error. You know, the fastball has become Nada. such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. Next to hit, Lou Pineda. And that one handled. Oh, the throw is wild. And he'll pull into second with two gone. Oh, that's a dangerous throw for the first baseman to try to handle right there. Exposed him to a potential collision. And we've all seen some of the ugly ones over the years on plays similar to that one. So it's great. Nothing came out of that other than the throwing error. Now here is Greg Nettles. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Man on second, two down. Good eye right there. 2 will count to a guy like this at the plate. You've got to throw a pitcher's pitch. Don't just try to get a strike. He could make you pay. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Runner leads away at second. Fought off foul. Canada at second with two down. Got him. Down on strikes. And he knew it. The Yanks lead one. And now the O's will get their first crack at it. No score. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Bob 
bottom of the first. And on the hill in this one, Catfish Hunter. Try to stay back for that power changeup. Speed differential between the fastball and the changeup is huge. Hitters, they have a hard time staying back. We go to the bottom of the first and into the box for Baltimore. Number one. Leading off for the Orioles, the center fielder. Number one. And here it comes. Ground ball to the right side. And a quick out, number one. All right, let's take a look at the Orioles lineup now. They're dealing with a top-level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Well, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get in his head a little bit, and then when he does come in the zone, you may only get one pick. Here's the swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. A towering home run, and they grab the lead. It's 1-0. Well, I'm sure there's a big grin on his face right now, Boog. He's probably had some of those that didn't stay fair, but off the bat, it looked like it was going to bend foul was able to keep it in there, tucked it nicely. And he gets the jog around the bases. Good for him. At the play, Ken Singleton. Yeah. Line drive, base hit, right center field. Now he'll turn for second. And he starts his afternoon off right with a double. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Reggie Jackson, the next to hit for the Orioles. Check swing. He went. That's strike one. And Singy, as a team, you need to make the most of the very few opportunities he's going to give you, right? Absolutely. And, and you know if you don't get to guys like this a lot of times early, once they really settle in, it's going to be the later innings that they hand that ball over to a reliever if they do at all. Base hit. Stop sign goes up at third. Runners at the corners with one out. Stringing them together. That's three that hits good. in a row. The Solid swing from start to end. Three. On time with everything. Yeah. Really good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive now. Runners on the corners with one gone. And here is Lee May. Swings through that one. 0-1. It's great to get on the board in the first frame of the ball game, but here's an opportunity for them to really open things up with a couple of runners on. Let's see if they can cash in. Now the 0-1. He swings and fouls one off. There, he can move the ball around, add and subtract, get some weak contact at times. So you don't worry as much about him in this situation. Very capable of getting a ground ball and get out of this little jam. Hit on the ground, might be two. Beats the second, out there. On the first, double play, and that's the inning. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's an early 1-0 lead. Back here at the ballpark, second inning, set to go. And here's the rookie center fielder, Roy White. The center fielder, Roy White. Here comes a pitch. That Eli. one's in there. Strike one. And a pitch. And he chases that one oh, below dude. the zone. 
Woody Keller making the calls behind home for us today. And, Boog, something to keep an eye on is how pitchers utilize the top part of the strike zone. We see a lot more of that in today's game with guys going up there with hard stuff. Keller, definitely an umpire that isn't afraid to call strikes up in that part of the strike zone. And a swing and a miss. And one gone. Dominating strike out there on just three pitches, and that's what a good power pitcher can do to you. He's hitting his spots, filling up the strike zone. Sometimes he bats over before it really begins. And here is Thurman Munson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. One down, base is empty. Swings through that. The pitch. Line drive, caught! Batting seven, the right fielder, Oscar. So up next, Gamble. Oscar Gamble. In there for strike one. Looks like a really good fastball today. You can hear that catcher's mitt popping. Looking forward to hearing a lot of that one in this one. Two down, nobody on. And now the count is even. Swing and a miss. Wow. Good luck catching up to that one. One and two now. And there's a ball. Playing two balls, two strikes. See how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing. That high fastball, you have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. Cut on and miss. Struck him out. And good work there as he gets a 1-2-3. So the Yanks go in order. They trail here 1-0. Nice Bottom half of inning number two. Now the left fielder, Paul Blair. Leading off. This is a guy who's in the line of first and foremost because of what he contributes defensively, Chris. And when you talk about preventing runs from being scored, this guy is a big contributor. On the ground to third. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. And he beats it. That's a hit. Great try there. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Ones in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity. Right on top of it. Number 11, the next to hit for the Orioles. First offering and it just misses. I was always told it's hard to take you off the field when you play really good defense, especially at a premier position, and that's what he does. Righty delivers. Swing at a ball popped up. Number 30 sizes this one up. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Batting eight. The shortstop, Killian Garcia. Digging in, Killian Garcia. The hitting's going to come around. He's going to figure it out. But right now, his big asset is the way he plays the game on defense. Hunter throws the first, and he's back safely. Garcia gets a piece. Blair leads off first with one away. Swing.
wing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. That's out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. And at first, now the Orioles catcher, Rick DeMille. In the air, right field. Great effort as he's able to haul it in. And that is that. One left for the Orioles. They lead it 1 0. And welcome back. And now the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. Leading off for the Yankees, the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. The pitch. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. The pitch. And a swing and a miss there. You know, Brooke, every team has a hitters meeting pregame, but this lineup seems way too anxious, aggressive. You wonder what they talked about. The punch out there. One out. Red Stanley, the next the to hit. Red Stanley. And it's fouled away. And he'll one. There's a strike. No ball. Two strikes. And down on strikes. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. 30. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Fouled off. He was late. Oh, and one now. Swing and a miss, and he oh, waves at that one. Ahead 0-2 in the count. Sure, you've got four pitches you can work with, but throw something you can command and get this at bat over with as quickly as possible. The wind and the pitch. And a foul ball. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. pitch and a foul ball he stays alive next offering down in the dirt well oh, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give swings through that and it's a strikeout that's out number three. One, two, three, go the Yankees. Still behind by a count of one to nothing. Way to go. Nice pitching. Nice pitching. Welcome back. Set for the bottom of the third. And now here's the speed threat. Leading outfielder, off. number one. The center fielder, number one. Hunter, back to work. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And now this one's a rocket to right. Way back there. Gone. That one felt good. And they had a run. It's 2-0.
when you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. And next for the Orioles, number 44. Now batting, number 44. In the air to left center. Base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane That's for an extended hitter. period of time. Yeah. And guys like that, Singleton. they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Double play ball to second. Good feed. That's one. And they get him easily at first. It's a double play. Now batting, the right fielder, Reggie Jackson. And now here is Reggie Jackson. Single to right in his first trip. And a foul ball. The 0 1. Pulls that one foul. Left hand hitter waits. And that one. Wrapped foul. That misses the zone, and the count is one and two. One, two, the count. Stays alive. And now it's even up. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Ninth pitch of the at bat due next. And a pop up right side, foul territory. Munson makes the catch, and that'll do it. Solo Homer brings in one for Baltimore, and it's two zip. Back here at the ballpark, John Chomby with Chris Singleton and set Leading to lead off the, off the fourth, Carlos May. Carlos May. The wind of the pitch. And a pop-up, right side, foul territory. And no one can get to it, it's a foul ball. And a pitch. Strike two. Well, you got to find a way to catch up to that pitch. Perhaps shorten the swing, eliminate the stride. That one came in hot, but right down the middle, you're saying to yourself, how did I miss that pitch? Got to make a quick adjustment. Left-hand batter waits. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just the dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's Blue. a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy on the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Now it's going to be Lou Pineda. 
The other way, and that's a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around now right that. there. Nice no job of driving hit. that pitch the right. other way on a line. You yeah, know, hitters, boy. they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Right. Never. Batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Pineda at first, one gone. Next offering is in for a strike. And now the lefty got him swinging. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Oh, he's been racking up the strikeouts, and what's so impressive, not walking anyone. I mean, this guy's just going right after hitters, filling up the strike zone, and it looks like hitters, they're trying to think with him, but they just are a pitch behind. Dominating stuff out there on the mound. Roy White stepping in now for the Yankees. A switch hitter batting right. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And there he goes. Pitch in for a strike. No throw, safe at second. Two outs and one in scoring position. Next pitch is popped up. May drifts towards it. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. To the bottom of inning number four now. It's the Orioles two and the Yankees nothing. Bottom of the inning, and into the box for Baltimore, Lee May. Off for the Orioles, the first baseman, Lee May. And the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Now a screamer into the outfield. Drops in for a hit. Couldn't run it down. Makes the turn and heads for second. And it's a leadoff double to start the bottom of the four. A little more backspin on that instead of the top spin. And he's jogging around the bases rather than pulling up at second. Here's the left fielder, Paul Blair. Reached on an infield single his first time. The left fielder, Paul Blair. Foul ball there. <laughs> Right-hander kicks deals. That one down the line, and it goes just foul. And the 0-2. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. May, around third. He'll score, and they're up by three. And in its second with an RBI double. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. Great hands on that swing to take the inside pitch and drive it into the gap for the double. It's easy to spin off a pitch like that, Berg, and can pull that thing foul, but that was perfect. So, man aboard, number 11, the next to hit for the Orioles. The number 11. Out to short, Stanley collects it. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. That's a play you expect your shortstop to make pretty the much every stop. time. Pretty Julian. routine. Hard to tell if Garcia. he didn't get a great grip on it or the mechanics on him just broke down, but that gives this offense an extra out to work with. So next to hit for Baltimore, Killian Garcia. Hit it well, but flied out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball.
No outs, runners at first and second. And it's even up. Well, the good thing so far is that he hasn't issued any free passes. Unfortunately, they're making pretty good contact. So not getting the swings and misses and making that defense work behind him. And a 1-1. Just oh. missed. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on. Probably a challenge pitch coming. Kicks and fires. Out to short. Stops it on a slide. Stanley to second. On to first. Six. Safe. So they get one, but a really nice try there. Now batting, catcher, Rick DeMaio. And next for the Orioles, Rick DeMaio. On the ground, could be two. Nettle, over to second, and it's a double play to end the inning. The O's add one on an RBI double. It's now 3-0. All set for the start of the inning. And now, Thurman Munson. Leading off of the game. The catcher. And he deals. Thurman. That one fouled off. Well, on paper, it's favorable to have a fairly quick inning here with two of the three hitters he's set to face batting from the left side, same side he throws from. On the ground, right side. And that chance handled. Tosses to first. Out. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the, the ball batter. out of the air. The right lets field. the defense work behind Oscar. him with another ground ball. Gamble. Good execution. And next for New York, Oscar Gamble. That one's in there, 0 and 1. The wind of the pitch. And that's oh. down it away. That no. one missed. Two ball, one strike. Kicks and deals. That's a strike. And that's downstairs and outside. A rare three ball count here. He's been throwing strikes all day. Got to be ready to hit if you're in the box. Next offering is fouled back. Line to left. Dives for it. Makes the play. The first base for this dive wasn't the result of a bad route. Yeah. Sydney. The only reason he made the play is because his route was so good. No doubt, Boog. Statcast tells the same story. I mean, he got to a spot as quickly as you can possibly get there. And he had to in order to have a chance at that diving play. Just special. Chambliss in the box now. No balls and a strike. Oh, and two as he waves oh, at that one. And here it comes. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Yanks held in check. They trail in this one, 3-0. That's the way to pitch. Nice inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's a speed threat, number one. Leading off for the Orioles, the center fielder. Number one. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And a base hit into right. And that rolls into the corner. Now he turns and heads for second. In safely. It's a double and his second hit. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. 
Now it's going to be number 44. Now batting, number 44. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Lifted in the air, out to left. Squeezes it. Runner tags it second. The tag. See. Now that the designated hitter, Ken Singleton, yeah. will hit next. Singleton. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Tracks it down for the out. Runner tags for home. They hit home. He is safe. And they lead by four. Sometimes all you got to do is your job and don't overcomplicate things. Keep it simple. Runner third, less than two outs. Put the ball in play and a nice job with the sack fly. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Reggie Jackson. Found back our way, and that's out of play. He didn't want to give up that run, but he did. Got the fly ball, sack fly out. Now it's time to attack these other guys. Get your team back in the dugout. And the pitch. Good eye right there. One ball, one strike. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And the inning is over. Five innings complete. It's the Orioles four and the Yankees nothing. And welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now it's the shortstop, Fred Stanley. Fred Stanley. The pitch. Got it started a little too early. Strike one. The why to kick the pitch. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Really nice sequence right there and the change of speeds off the fastball. Really good arm action. Sold it. Change up just doesn't arrive. Lifted in the air. Number 44 under it. Brings it in. And there's one away. The batter. Number 30. Back to the top of the lineup. Now at the plate. Number 30. And first offering is fouled off. Here comes a pitch. Ah. Hit in the air, right field. Jackson moving under it. He's got it. Two down. Now batter, the designated hitter, Carlo. May. Two outs, base is empty. And now the DH, Carlos May, who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. 
Well, on the mound, very efficient, able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Two down, nobody on. Swings through that one. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Make it six shutout innings for him out there now. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Orioles four and the Yankees. Your new pitcher please. for the Yankees, now Andy Messer. Well, at this point of the ball game, we're Number talking about middle innings, and he need a little Messer. length out of this arm coming out of the bullpen. We'll see just how many outs he's able Leading to give his skipper. For the Orioles, the first baseman, Lee May. The pitch. May at the plate for the third time as he comes up empty there. And a pitch. Tapped softly on the ground. One up, one down. Up next to the Orioles. No left fielder. Paul Blair. And into the box for Baltimore, Paul Blair. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Ed Figueroa preparing to come on if needed. Righty delivers. Ball. Play 11. On the ground to third. Whips it across. Two up, two down. The batter, number 11. So next to hit for Baltimore, number 11. This one popped up, foul ground first base side. Chambliss makes the catch, and that'll do it. Orioles held in check there. They lead 4-0. Welcome back. We go to the top of the seventh. Now the left fielder, Leading Lou Pineda. The, the left fielder, Lou. The Yankees Pineda. looking to rally. The pitch. And a pop-up. Right side, foul territory. May racing over to make the catch. Now that third baseman, Greg. Now Nettles. the third baseman, Greg Nettles. Zero. And that's in there for strike one. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Well, he's gotten ahead with two pitches down in the zone. He has plenty of options right here. He can go up, he can go away, he can add velocity, he can subtract. Switch through that one, it's a strikeout. So he's gotten deep into this game, and at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. And up next for New York, Roy White. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. One. The wind and the pitch. Ball oh. one there. The 
pitch. And that one fouled off. On the ground to the left. Can't glove it cleanly. That leaves him without a throw, and they can't get the out. Hard to tell exactly what went oh, wrong right there. there. That was a fairly routine ground ball, but he just couldn't get it to Monday. stick in the glove. Might have taken his eye off it a little early, but regardless, you're going to have to work around that error. Runner at first following the error. Here's the Yankees catcher now, Thurman Munson. Liner caught it second. One left for the Yankees. They trail it here, four nothing. Back here at the ballpark, and now Killian Garcia leading off for the Orioles. The shortstop, Killian, and the pitch. Garcia. Swing and a miss. On the ground. And foul ball. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. On its way. And gone. So he leaves the yard to left. And they boost their lead. It's five zip. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in a spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Now the catcher up to hit, Rick DeMille. Up next for the Orioles, the catcher. Turned on, but that's foul DeMille. down the third baseline. And a pitch. This to third. Zips it to first. One away. That ground ball may have him back on track after the homer. The batter, number one. Here's the center fielder, number one. Swing and a ball lifted in the air. Shallow left field. And it drops in. But a good job to keep it in front. All right, get it, get it. Now batting. Man number at first 44. with one gone. And next for the Orioles, number 44. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. At the belt and fires. And there's a foul ball. Number one over at first with one away. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. And there's two away. Wow, just great bite to that slider. Broke now hard out of the zone, and he just hitter. couldn't hold up the swing. Yeah. You know, as a hitter, that pitch Single is time. really hard to take. And there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung up by the umpire. Now here's the Orioles DH. Ken Singleton, one for two. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Riding to the plate. Here comes the pitch. Runner breaks for second. 
Out towards right center field. That skips over the fence, so it's an automatic double. This is a tough play for the offense to stomach. I mean, they did everything right, but the automatic double just ruined the hit and run. The runner had a great jump from first, and at the plate, really good contact. Just a little bit of bad luck robbed him of a run. So two on with two away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Reggie Jackson. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Right-handed reliever. That one pulled foul. Left-hand hitter waits. And a foul ball, he stays alive. Left-hand batter waits. There's a swing and a drive. Way back there. And that's going to be a double, and it'll score two. One run is in. Another comes in to score. It's seven to nothing. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Ed Figueroa. Big deficit here, but he's still got a job to do. Lee May digs in now. This one squared up down the left field line. If it's fair, it's gone. If it's fair, and it is gone. He'll touch them all, and they add to their lead. It's 9-0. That's their fourth home run of the game. They can't stop, and they won't stop hitting home runs in this one, Boog. They're clearly feeding off of each other at the dish. Welcome to the game. First pitch out of the bullpen, a tough one. And you know he's just trying to get one in there for a strike. And on the other side is a hitter. It's a great time to be aggressive and let it fly. It's not what they were looking for when they turned to him, but now he's got to find a way to reset. So two down now, down and down. here is Paul Blair. Paul Blair. Up the middle. That's a base hit. And that keeps the inning alive. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Here's the third baseman, number 11. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh Right-hander kicks, deals, and that one fouled off. And he deals. That one lifted to left, lays out, but he can't squeeze it. Throw stops the lead runner at second, two on and two out. Anything now but batting. pretty right there, but he'll take it every yeah. time. That one probably had no business ending up as a base hit, but he got just enough of it to muscle it to the outfield. And that pitch was well in off the plate. A tough one to handle, but he gets rewarded. Now, Killian Garcia. Right-hander deals. That's to third. Inning over. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. It's now 9-0. We're at the top of the eight. And now Oscar Gamble. Leading off for the Yankees. The right fielder. Oscar Gamble. And here it comes. 
pop jump. DeMaio under it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one down. Now batting the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. And stepping in for the Yankees, Chris Chambliss. In there for strike one. Kicks and fires. Swing and a miss, and he chases that one in the dirt. And down on strikes he goes, and there's two away. With that kind of velocity, an elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Two outs, base is empty. And the batter will be the shortstop, Fred Stanley. In there, and it's 0-1. Kicks and deals. Off the mark there. Ball one. Plane 11. One ball, one strike. On the ground to first. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So the Yanks go in order. Steep hill to climb. It's a 9-0 deficit. Ready for the bottom of the eighth. Now the Orioles catcher, Rick DeMaio. Leading off for the Orioles, the catcher, Rick Figueroa, DeMaio. back to work. And the pitch is outside, ball one. And the righty deals. And a foul ball. The pitch. This one smoked out to left. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Now batting. Number one. And now the center fielder. Number one. And it may be a long shot, but a triple here will give him the cycle. Ground ball up the middle. Now the throw to first on the run. And a couple of quick outs. First of all, that's just a nice job to even get to that now ball. Now. And then even Number more impressive was the throw. Off balance. Had to try to end the air, get his shoulders turned, and make a strong throw. Does show off the strength of the arm. We're usually used to seeing that kind of arm strength from the shortstop. Flares one into center and makes the play, and that's out number three. One, two, three, go the Orioles. But they still hold a 9 nothing lead. We go to the ninth. Here's the second baseman, number 30. Leading off for the Yankees. The second baseman, number 30. Here comes a pitch. That's in there. Strike one. Some guys are just more confident they can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Bounced out to short. Whips it to first on the run. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Now batting, designated hitter, Carlos May. Carlos May getting ready to hit. Good contact guy, good defender. Next offering is down low. And that is ball one. The wind of the pitch. Hammer, base hit. Around first, digging for two. And that's a two-bagger. 
Well, he's been having a hard time just putting the ball in play in this one, so that should help soften the blow. I'll tell you, and it's such a good feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. Pineda in the box here lets that one go for a ball. May, the runner at second with one away. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. And it gets by him. They won't risk the send. Runners in the corners now with one away. Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. One down. Greg Nettles stepping in now for the Yankees. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. New pitcher coming on, the veteran, Scott McGregor. And he'll try to keep this big lead right where it is. McGregor. Meanwhile, this pitch gets away, but no advance from the runners. The pitch. Bounced up the middle. Dives, and he can't hang on. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. The center field. Next to hit, Roy White. First offering, misses the mark. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation, you know, maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. One out, runners at first and second. He swings and drives one out to deep left field. Way back there. Can't get there. Base hit. And they stop him at third. So base is loaded with one away. That's three singles in a row. Put a pretty good now jolt that. into that one. Great swing. Nice Perfect. balance and weight transfer. Perfect. And he got it to drop in out there in the deep part of the field. And up next for New York, Thurman Munson. Known for his rocket arm behind the plate. And now the lefty that misses, one and one. The pitch. And there's a fly ball, deep right field. And that one's gone. A towering shot to right, and they inch closer. It's 9-5. Well, he comes through big time with the grand slam here, but you also got to give some credit to the guys ahead of him. Good at bats to get on base and really set the table for a very special moment in this now one. Battle. He's two, two outs away. Oscar, Oscar Gamble, Gamble now at the plate. And yeah, the first pitch misses in the dirt. Right side. Over to first. Yankees with only one out remaining. Now batting the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. Two outs, base is empty. And here's the first baseman, Chris Chambliss. Next pitch downstairs. 1-0. 1-0. 
Two down, nobody on. Two balls, no strikes to count. And a pitch. Foul ball. And a pitch. On the corner for a strike. Two balls, two strikes. The wind of the pitch. Slapped foul. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. These guys have the long ball working for them today. Four home runs had a lot to do with them coming out on top. Our final score here, 9-5. As the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire crew. I'm John Shabby saying so long. Get your hand off my penis!